All right, y'all, here's a really random video on the fly. It's Meat Magazine here. Meat Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Make sure to thumbs up this video, share it, and whatnot. I'm going to leave the comment section open on this one. I need all y'all's opinions. So first of all, Aretha Franklin passed away, right? John McCain passed away. Burt Reynolds passed, and Mac Miller passed. I go on Twitter tonight, September 8th of 2018. And it looks like all hell broke loose. You know, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B got into a fight at Fashion Week. There's a rumor that Faith Evans and Mary J. Blige got into it at, I think it was Diddy's New York Fashion Week party or something like that. So that's what people were talking about. Also, there were people saying that Anna Wintour was calling, was calling people the N-word. Allegedly. Now, I can't confirm that. That was another thing that's trending on Twitter. Also, they said George Zimmerman threatened Beyonce. And I'm just looking, I'm, I'm thinking like, damn, it's like everything in Hollywood is like, like burning before my eyes. It's like celebrities are dying. Celebrities are fighting like crazy, like, like hood rats. Now, some of them are really from the hood, but you know, not all of them shit, and, you know, and I'm just like, damn, it's like everything's going array. I, I'm just watching all this foolishness seeing little video clips seeing different pictures and whatnot cardi b got a big old knot on her head they said that it was done by Nicki minaj's security they said that i guess like the security was trying to break up the fight and they accidentally bumped her uh hit her or whatever maybe with their elbow or i don't know what part of their body could have been the shoulder i don't know anyways knocked the damn knot in her head the size of like a half a golf ball she looked like when they do like prosthetics or whatever like in movies and like they put something up in, underneath your skin make it look like something's growing out of you yet cardi b got a nice little knot okay she looked like she went and tied the knot. You know what I mean? Knot's landing. I'm not going to tell another knot joke. Knot, knot. Who's there? Cardi, Cardi, who? You know what I'm saying? Like, she got a knot on her head, my Jesus. This is crazy. You know, she got a baby at home to be worried about instead of squabbling with Nicki Minaj uh, at Fashion Week. Nicki, your album came in at number two. And you blame Travis Scott, but a lot of people were mad at you for that. Like, you, you got to worry about putting out more hit records and, you know, proving the naysayers wrong. Like, y'all got shit to be worried about. Plus, Nikki's trying to get married. She has this new guy that she's with that she won't tell us the name of. You know, some people said it was Eminem. Some people said it was Nas. But I heard this neither one of them. Some people said she's back with, with Meek Mill. But I heard that she's with a new person. Like, somebody completely different. Which then begs this question. Who is it? I mean, could it be Big Sean? Could Big Sean be the new guy? You know? Like, uh, who the hell is it? And why? Why him? You know what I mean? But do you guys think this this is the end? I mean, is this... <laughs> I'm waiting for Satan to just pop about the damn ground at this point, my Jesus. Listen. Pray for me. I'm going to pray for y'all. Let's pray for everybody that's in these crazy situations let's just all say a prayer let's just all pray for each other uh th this 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 is really getting out of hand it's like everything is going crazy at one time and uh all of that conflict it, it scares the hell out of me i'm just sitting back and i'm looking around like like damn like is there any peace in this like i'm waiting for some good damn news the last good news i heard was about elvin well first of all i started off with some damn bad news i'm gonna tie this into Nicki minaj elvin from the cosby show Basically, he's working at Trader Joe's in real life. You know, uh, they took the Kazi show off TV for a while. I, I guess them royalty checks aren't coming in the way that they should be, the way that they, the, those amazing actors deserve to be paid. And, you know, pretty much Elvin was working at Trader Joe's. This woman came in there and took some pictures of him. They ended up on the Internet and she's like, you know, shaking her head like, oh, look at him, you know, working at Trader Joe's nowadays. Like she feels sorry for him or whatever. And Tyler Perry stepped up. Tyler Perry offered him, I think it was a 10 episode deal on some show that he's doing. If anybody knows the name of it, let me know. Let us all know in the comment section. Say the Tyler Perry show is blah, blah, blah. You know, so that way everybody knows what the hell you're talking about. Don't just don't just say the name of the show. You got to write like a sentence. So then that way we can understand why you're saying it. And the let me see. Nicki Minaj said that she was going to donate twenty five thousand dollars to him. I forget what the brother's real name is. As a matter of fact, I'm going to look that up right now while I'm recording. So then that way, <laughs> I, you know, make sure I shout out his real name. 
you know, doing this on the fly, guys. You see, man, if I had a co-host, this would be hella easy. His name is Jeffrey Owens, but it's spelled with a G. G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y-O-W-E-N-S. Jeffrey Owens, a.k.a. Elvin from The Kazi Show, okay? And, you know, people were shocked or whatever that he was working at Trader Joe's. But, hey, he has to eat, you know what I mean? So, what's so shocking about that? They had said at one time that a mill was working at Walmart in North Carolina somewhere. Of course, that turned out to allegedly not be true. But anyway, shout out to Elvin. You know, he got job shamed. He ended up doing interviews with, I guess, a handful of people. I guess not too many people. Um, CNN had him on there. They talked about him on Inside Edition. He's got a lot of publicity. You know, the Breakfast Club talked about him. Thankfully, I'm glad that everybody's talking about him now. You know, he's getting shouted out. He's getting this attention that he deserves because the man is a great actor, you know. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully he's just going to get himself a fat check and he'll never have to work a regular, schmegular, degular job again. You know, he's a good actor. So shout out to Tyler Perry. See, this is why I never really formally threw Tyler Perry under the bus. I let y'all know that there's some things that I don't like about Tyler Perry, about the dress thing, the Medea thing and whatnot. I've never watched a Tyler Perry movie to date. But um, I've seen clips and different things. I I've seen enough where I was just like, oh, no, no, not for me. But shout out to Tyler Perry, though. You know, I, I watched one of his movies where he isn't running around dressed as a woman. As long as it's just a regular movie. And I hear this getting good reviews and people are like, no, no, this is the one to see. This one you got to see me. This one is this is it. You know, if I get enough good recommendations or the right person uh, lets me know that I need to see, you know, I'll check it out. So if anybody can recommend a good Tyler Perry movie, let me know in the comments. That's another thing we could talk about. I want to get this comment section popping. I want to talk about the Anna Winter rumor about her allegedly saying the N-word. I want to talk about uh, the different celebrities that passed. Aretha Franklin, Mac Miller, Burt Reynolds. Let me see. Who else? John McCain. You know, I want to talk about the Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B altercation at New York Fashion Week. The rumor about Faith Evans versus Mary J. Blige at Fashion Week. I, want, I also want to talk about, let me see, George Zimmerman allegedly threatening Beyonce. Does any, can anybody confirm that? There's a lot of different things that are being talked about, man. Right now, the damn Twitter, what do you call it? The United States trends on Twitter is lit up, y'all. Let me see. I'm going to tell y'all the whole list of people that are trending. Pretty much a bunch of black folks. So I took this screenshot like maybe uh, a little while ago, not too long ago. And it's almost exactly the same right now as I'm recording this. Cardi B. It, this is the order from top to bottom, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are the top nine people Cardi, Nikki, Ra Ali, Culture, that is Cardi B's baby, Faith Evans, Remy, as in Remy Ma, Mary J, as in Mary J Blige, Stormy, that's Kylie Jenner's baby, and finally, last but certainly not least, Queen Radio, Nicki Minaj's radio show. That's what was trending from 1 to 9, y'all. Crazy. All in one night. September 8th of 2018 is going to go down in history as one of the biggest celebrity news days you're gonna want to watch out for what i have to say about it you're gonna want all all, all of this crap that's being just being talked about that's going on there's gonna be so many videos guys think about it the breakfast club is gonna be talking about it all these different youtubers uh all the different blogs the shave room ball alert is gonna be on fire everywhere the jasmine brand everybody's gonna be going crazy media takeout tmz it's gonna be one hell of a news weekend because it's a Saturday. It's the weekend when, when the Breakfast Club come, comes back on Monday. Psh, I'm going to be right there. So look for my comments. I'm going to bust some comments down right there in the comment section. So make sure that y'all there at the Breakfast Club's YouTube channel. Because I will be there hopefully as early as possible. And that way y'all can thumbs up my comments. And y'all can reply to my comment. Y'all know how I get down. Vlad TV might have to jump on this. More than likely, yeah, he, he will. All of the blogs. Industry on Blast. Everybody, listen, this next week is going to be something else, just sorting out everything that's going on. There's going to be a lot of emotions uh, going around. Come on, Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans allegedly getting into it at allegedly Diddy's party at New York Fashion Week. Really? Should that even happen? 
these ladies are what in their mid to late forties, you know what I mean? Like uh messy situation. One of those things you just sit back, you just like and you're just like, damn, please tell me that that's just a bunch of talk, just a bunch of hearsay, just a silly rumor. Please tell me that these ladies, these two mothers, please Mary J. Blige is a mom, right? I think she is. But anyways, I know Faith Evans has at least one child. I can't remember how many. But the point is this though, these are two grown women. Like those are the two people that we really don't want to hear this about. We hear it about Nikki and Cardi and we're just kind of like, oh, that's effed up. But when you hear it about Faith and Mary, it's like, oh, that's effed up. You know, like these are two legends. I mean, Nikki is a legend to me. Some of y'all would say that she's not because she hasn't been around long enough. You might say 10 years is not enough. Anyways, guys, I just want to let y'all know that this is what's being talked about. If somebody leaves a dumb comment, like you didn't really say anything about these things because you don't really have the information. Listen, if you leave a stupid comment like that, I'm just going to delete your comment because you're not helping the comment section. The point of me making this video was to tell everybody this is what's being talked about. So then that way you're not shocked and surprised <laughs> when you see all of this information, this information overload come your way during this weekend and especially when monday comes because that's you know uh tmz and the breakfast club all the big dogs because the big blog the big dog blogs on the internet are one thing like the shade room and stuff like that but once this shit hits the tv it's a whole nother plateau then that means your mama and your grandmama and them who are not on the internet like that then they're going to be talking about it all right, so I just figured I would let everybody know that this is what's being discussed. This is what's going down in the world that you live in. And, you know, it, it's just a really crazy situation. Is this like, is this, is this, is it the apocalypse? Is it the end? Be, is it the end times? <laughs> like the Bible talked about, it's crazy, man. It's like everybody's going nuts. Gotta go, y'all. Meet Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Meet Magazine blog on Instagram. If you listen to me ramble for 12 minutes, you can leave a comment at something that I talked about, whether it's Homeboy from the Cosby Show, Jeffrey Owens, or it's uh, Faith, or it's Cardi, or it's the Queen of Rap, Nicki Minaj, or it's Ra Ali. They say that Ra Ali had jumped in the middle of Cardi and Nicki. Some people say that Ra Ali hit Cardi from behind. And she was actually the one that maybe caused the bump in her head. Some people say that it wasn't Riley and that people were getting Riley mixed up with another chick that rose with Nikki. And it was somebody else entirely. People were throwing Remy Ma's name up in the conversation, talking about basically uh, when Remy Ma drops that baby, she's going to have something to say. and She might have something to do about the situation, you know, because her and Nikki don't get along, as we all know. And she sheathed her Nikki. But anyways, y'all. Nikki's still the damn queen of rap, all right? But anyways, anything that I said that you want to talk about, any of the topics that were discussed in this video, let's get this comment section popping and make sure you reply to people in the comment section. Make sure, you know, if you see a comment, say something to them like, mm-hmm, I agree, or you an idiot because blah, 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 blah. And uh, what do you guys think about the United States trends list? Cardi, Nikki, Riley, Culture, Faith Evans, Remy, Mary J, Stormy, and Queen Radio. Uh, can you not wait to hear Queen Radio the next episode? I have never listened to a whole episode. I've heard little clips. Uh, Breakfast Club played them. Uh, it was reposted on YouTube, stuff like that. It's on Apple. But they reposted on YouTube. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to be listening to this next damn episode. And I hope she has Riley up there. Um, I, hope, I hope Faith and Mary call in. You know? At least have Riley call up, even, even if she's not there physically, even though that's her homegirl, she should be there. But I can't wait to hear Queen Radio this week. Gotta go. Meet Magazine. Let's get this conversation going. Damn it, I had to turn my microphone back on. I forgot about something. What do you guys think about that Bobby Brown movie, that two-part series about his life? Now, I didn't get to watch it yet, but I heard enough about it to know uh, I'm going to have to get my damn popcorn ready and enjoy that. But all right, y'all, as a matter of fact, I think after I wrap this video up, I might have to watch part one. All right, y'all, let me know what you think about it all below, including the Bobby Brown movie. You might have to leave multiple comments. If you got a lot to say, you might want to break it up and talk about a little bit here, a little bit there. So much is going on. This is going to be one hell of a discussion because so much is going on. I just want to chop it up with y'all and see what's going on. All right, y'all, Me Magazine.